Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, my name's Ethan, welcome back, and today we are going to be installing a new set of hydraulic disc brakes on this fluid hardtail. So uh, this bike has cabled disc brakes currently, uh, they're not very tuned up and not very powerful as well, so switching them out for a little friend of mine um, who just loves to shred. Um, so we're going to switch these out to some more powerful hydro brakes for him and I'm gonna lead you through the process while we're at it. So before we get too far into the video, the guy that rides this bike, Johnny is his name. He has a little YouTube channel called Johnny MTB. Would love if you could go check it out, subscribe. I'm sure he would love it. So I'll put it up in the left corner somewhere here as a tag. Go, Johnny MTB, go subscribe. Um, he does some cool little videos. So let's get into the video anyways, um, installing these hydraulic disc brakes. Okay, so the tools for this job, it's pretty simple. There's there's not a whole lot you need to know. Uh, a set of pliers or long nose pliers, something like that, a pretty sharp razor blade, uh, eight mil spanner, and a set of uh, Allen keys here. Um, there will be some other tools that I do use, but these are kind of the main core tools that will be needed in installing these brakes. Okay, so I just realized while I was filming that it's not actually how to uninstall cable brakes, it's how to install hydro. So I'm just gonna finish taking all this off and skip to when we're actually installing the hydro. <laughs> Alrighty, so everything's removed, didn't take me too long. As you can see, there's no grips or levers on and no calipers down by the discs and obviously all the cables have been removed too. So now we get into the next step, which is installing these suckers. So let's get them out the package and have a look. All right, so what we have here is a Shimano hydraulic disc brake. It's an MT200, uh, relatively uh, low-end disc brake. It uh, is one pot, so it's only got two pistons. And um, yeah, but I mean, it's a reasonably brake, reasonably nice brake. Sits around like 40 bucks. So for what it's worth, it's not too bad. Uh, it's certainly going to be an improvement to what Johnny already had on his bike. Generally, these brakes come a tad bit too long like that's your front brake so that is going to be our first challenge of not challenge when this is not a challenging process just our first step we have to do is cut these down to measurements so that they're not extra long for the bike oh and these kits also come with everything you need like you know the olive and the um barb thing that you need so um it all comes included and the nuts and everything so it's not bad okay so when it comes to cutting down your hose Obviously there is hydro, there's hydraulic fluid in the hose. And so if you can't do it wrong, you might get air lines, you might get air bubbles in the lines, um, or you might lose a lot of fluid and then you have to re-bleed the brakes. Basically, first step is to mount, uh, mount them on just to see how they fit. And so mount the caliper and then the lever on and see how much you really actually have to cut down. Let's go mounting these brakes onto the bars and fork. All right, as you can see here, I've just got the uh, lever sitting there, but we've got a fair bit of cable here that's resting. So we just want to note that um, past this cap here, the hose actually sits about that far into the lever. So when we're accounting for how much um, to take off, just make sure you keep about a centimeter extra from you know that point there, just so you're not getting um, caught short, no pun intended. Um, so, Let's roughly judge how much we want to cut down, see how much we want to take off, and then I'll show you the process in cutting that down. Okay, so first off, you want to mount your lever onto the bars, um, but make sure that it is you know, sitting up, kind of level like that, because there is some fluid in the lever and that will drip out um, if it's not quite level. Don't screw it down super tight, just position it. Then you want to get your eight mil, and slowly unwind this bolt by the lever here. Make sure your cap 
is uh, still on your hose down further like this make sure just want to make sure I know where my mark is yep all right and we'll slide that one back now comes the part where you got to move pretty quickly all right so pull this one out all right so as you can see there we've got the olive around there and the barb is in the hose all right so when we cut this off obviously that isn't going to be there anymore because that's on the end so we need to install a new barb and a new hose onto where we've cut it afterwards so make sure you have that stuff ready um so i've got it just over here new olive like this one here because that will get crushed when you tighten it back into the lever and your other barb which you can put in so um right now it'll be fine like fluid won't be coming out too much so um just get all that stuff ready because you have to move pretty quickly once you cut the new length all right i've just put the new razor blade into a stanley knife to give me a bit of extra leverage when cutting they're not there we go all right so that's cut it's pretty clean as you can see there um now you just try and keep it upright as much as possible and now you clamp that like so so you're holding that in a good position get your little barb press it into that hole where you can like that and i should have been more prepared because i need something to whack that in with All right, now that you have your barb in, as you can see, I finally got it in, took a little bit of work. That's all right. Uh, make sure you get your olive nut, slide that over and bring up the rest of your, like that little bolt there that you had um, to screw in like so. And basically push it in and thread your hose back through. You have to be pretty tight with the bolt here because it is crushing the olive nut. Um, so go pretty, go pretty firm, but I see it's twisting my cable. That's all right. So that is pretty much nice and sorted. Slide back this cap. Boom, there you go. And that's now nice and like, that's a more respectable link, hey. Got a nice bit of hydro action there. Pulling, it's not pulling into the bar too much, but it's a firm, um, it's a firm hold, if you know what I mean. So. I'd just like to let you know that I am giving away one of these Yule beanies that I made, all right? Well, I didn't make, I didn't hand knit. I designed and uh, someone printed for me. So I'm giving one of these beanies, not this one, because it's been worn by me, but I'm giving one of these beanies to someone uh, once you get me to 800 subscribers. So um, there'll be a competition that happens once I hit 800. So basically, get me to 800, tell as many people as possible that if they subscribe, then there'll be a chance of them winning one as well. Um, the sooner, the better, basically. Um, I think I'm already on like 780, so it shouldn't be too long. Um, maybe even in this video, if you could if you could make it blow up. But just wanna let you know, let's move on to the next break and get this thing finished. That is feeling amazing right now. Imagine if you could feel that. Um, but no, so that one went pretty well. Uh, brake feels great. Um, threaded through the frame nicely, which is great as well. So now we've got two working hydraulic brakes. Um, Alrighty guys, so I just did a little bit of fiddling in the back caliper. There needed to be some spaces um, in between the bolt and the frame, but that's all good. Um, as you can see, both wheels are adjusted, no disc brake rub, and they both brake great with hydro disc brakes. So I might just do a quick uh, spin out on the road and just see how they perform. But otherwise, Johnny here can shred hard with these epic new brakes. <laughs> Ow. 
absolutely sick. They work so well. Absolutely epic. This is a great little upgrade to um, pr improve the performance of your bike. And this thing, you're gonna be able to ride so much harder now with. And I hope uh, this video gave you a little bit of a demonstration on um, how to install hydraulic brakes, how to cut them down, etc. Um, yeah, the length is pretty good, perhaps a little bit long on the rear one here, so I could have cut that a little bit shorter. Um, but, you know, hey, you can learn from my mistakes as well, so win-win um, for all of us. Uh, but yes, remember, subscribe to Johnny MTB, um, but also would love if you could subscribe to my channel, because yes, I'm doing a giveaway at, eight, at 800 subs. So. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you have a great week. Remember to never go for a walk without your bike. Also, just letting you know that I will be on holidays for the next two weeks, so probably won't be posting, but I'll be right back at it after that. So this will be the last video for a couple of weeks, but hope you all have a great few weeks, and I'll see you back real soon.